It's a highly dangerous mission, even for a dead man. I dare say that when that fiend sees what you've done, he'll make sure you spend eternity in the most unspeakable torment. But then, I know these things mean nothing to a man of your iron will. Hey, Fortescue? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Gulp. Splendid. Good luck, old friend. And we apparently can fly now. Now, from this point on, this level becomes a pain. Up until this point, I don't mind the level. However, it's become such a... Look, you'll, you'll see what I mean. Right. Hit the switch. That opens the fire. Now we've got to knock these two ugly robots off the edge. Which isn't too difficult, but... Oh, nearly got him. Oh, nearly. Come on, big boy. Get off. That's what she said. Come on. Oh yes, and he's down. Right. Now speed, run, be as quick as you can, folks. Because we've got a lot to do in a few minutes. You can see the time's already ticking away. We've got to complete the level. We've got to drain the oil. And we've got to get the chalice all in this time limit. So let's drain the oil first. Stick that in that hole. That's just too easy. I'm not even going to do that joke. Then get the chalice, which I think is up these steps. Bang. Got it. Get down off here again. And we've got one less than one minute. Grab this treasure. I think we should be safe actually now, folks. I think we're going to make it. Oh yes, yeah, so we're going to make it with time to spare. See? Just shows I've improved over last year. Because last time I did this level, I remember I completed it with literally... One second on the clock as I got on that catapult. So, what can I say? I'm constantly improving. Now, who is it going to be today? Okay, it's not going to be you. It's not the sword guy. It's not the axe guy. It's not the centaur guy. It's not him. Hi, sir. I've spoken to her for a bit. Well, hello, stranger. I've got a little present for you. Why don't you shut your eye and hold out your hands? Sounds good to me. Never a woman asks you to shut your eyes and hold out your hands, you do it. Well, that was useless. Energy vials. Could at least given us something better. Like a life bottle. The next level must be my favourite level. <laughs> oh yes, it is. Some people think this is a difficult level, but I'm not one of them. Welcome to the ghost ship. In the next video, we'll be taking it on. And welcome back, folks. Welcome to the ghost ship. So that's Dan just being fired out of a catapult. Doesn't have much luck, our Dan, does he? Apparently, he's at Stonehenge now, and there's a dragon at Stonehenge. Wasn't aware there was dragons at Stonehenge. That is a weird-looking dragon. Why has he got a beak? God, that is a fat dragon, I'm sorry. I 
And now he's been picked up by a big ugly... Well, it looks like a... Is it a buzzard? Now, what are them things that are in the jungle book? Vultures. That's it. I don't think they're a kestrel. Is it kestrel? Kestrel or vultures? It's vultures, I'm sure it is. This is a particularly long level. Yeah, that sounds nicer. Look, there's not a man jack on this ship who wouldn't kill Hall his own grandmother for the silver in her hair. There'll be no tongue lashing. Bring that landlubber to me and I'll tear him a new orifice. That's what she said. Wait, that's wrong. Anyway, this level is a bit unique in regards to its enemies. Now, don't even bother attacking the normal ones, because you have to kill the blue ones. Because they're like the commanders. Once you kill them, they all die. You can see, it's like a six for one deal. Now, for the record, there are plenty of jumping traps. Puzzles, even. Ooh, is my eye better? Yes, it is. Time to die! There we go. Hmm, he's a bit of a dirty minded captain, I reckon. Oh, what's up with my fuzzing eye? I started watering for no reason. Do you mind, I? I'm trying to record here. Get out of my way. Now, where do we go? We don't jump... Ah, I know where we go now. Now, you. Get out of my way, please, sailors. First of the many jumping areas. This is probably the most difficult, actually. Oh, and he does it. Without a save state, I will tell you. Nice, full health again. And my shield's just been destroyed, though. Use me copper shield first, because that's rubbish. Hello. Down we go, deal with the big guy. Come here. You ain't surviving this, Sonny Jim. There you go. Dodge the cannonballs, because these can knock you off quite easily. Now, don't do what I try and do sometimes. You can make that jump. Oof, should we try it? Oh, come on. Let's go for it. That was a test jump. Oh, we're going to go normal way. I'm not going to keep failing at that. I know what I'm like when it's bloody jumping traps. Right, open this door. Now, there's actually a reason to this. You're supposed to use these to jump over, but in this one area, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to drop down. Only cost there's more enemies to kill for our lovely chalice. See, 66% of the chalice already is nothing to uh, stick your nose up at. Oh, 
Don't worry about these cannonballs, I just usually run straight through them, because really they don't do that much damage. You've got a shield as well, if you run into them with your shield, it blocks all the damage. Let's see, we're back up here, so we can... St I was going to say we can start it again, but I fell off again. Now, isn't there somewhere to go through on this side? Yes, there is. Now, I'm just trying to remember. I think we might have to go back up top anyway. But there is some money I can collect here. Yeah, we're going to have to go back up top anyway. At least we got that energy and that bit of money. I mean, I've read a lot of, like, different facts about this game. And... Ow. Many people seem to think that this level is the most difficult, or one of the most difficult, but I don't think it is at all. To me, the lake will always be the most difficult level. Without any kind of... rival, apart from Pools of the Dead. Bouncy, 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 I bet I sounded like a Teletubby then. This level is relentless though, I mean that was a test jump for the record. This level is relentless in its jumping traps. Now, I've got to think here. Now this is the way to go, but... This is a unique area and these skeletons are the only ones I will tell you to kill. Instead of trying to kill the blue one, because them barrels won't move until you've killed that guy. So do that. Don't worry. Oh, come on, he's taking a beat in that guy. 85% nearly there. Now that is the end of the level. Thus, we don't want to go that way. If we go back here, and of course, don't even think of using save states to abuse the jumping traps. Now, you let me down there, Dan. You nearly made that jump. I know your excuses that, well, I'm not the one being controlled, but still. Good boy, you made it. Alley oop. Come here, you. There we go. We can now get the chalice as well. And thankfully, that's right up here. Boom. Skeleton got skills. Now, don't you dare fall off at this last minute. I won't be happy if you do. I'm not happy. Get prepared for our final part of the level. I kind of like this last part. This last part's a boss, but... Again, he's not very difficult. He's dumb in this game. The most difficult bosses are the first two. So what you got to do first? Kill all these idiots. Then, set your club on fire. And then fire like a madman with your cannons at this idiot. I haven't actually hit him once yet, unfortunately. Oh my god, have I got a bad shot today, or... Oh my god. I didn't even hit him once! That were bad, even for my standards. Let's try that again, shall we? 
now. Come on, Dan. Hit him. I got him. Oh, yeah. Two hitter. Two hitter. Nice. I got half of his health down there. That was acceptable. And don't worry too much about using your life bottles on this level, because when you get to the next one, it's like a training level again, so don't even worry about it. Lots of health in the next one. Now don't set yourself on fire, you idiot. I'm such a rubbish shot sometimes. I'm saying that, I'm getting a little bit close to my life bottles. Well, I won't worry about it too much. Right, fire! Oh, come on! By luck alone, I must hit him. I got ya. Now this boss is going on for a lot longer than what I remembered. Right, come on. Just two hits down, that's all you blooming need. Oh, come on. Oh, gotcha. It only took me half an hour. We can now leave. I do enjoy that level. I think it was a level I actually got to as a kid and got stuck on. I have very vivid memories of that one. Right, who is it going to be today? Because we have only got... Two, I think, real levels left. I bet it's the centaur. It's always the... Oh, it's not. I'll shut my mouth. Ah, it's this guy again. The German. You are back here for the skew. I think this is because of my shield, yeah? Nah, but it's I not, actually. What else I can give to you? Something you may find very interesting. Very interesting. Mm, nice bit of money. Not that we'll be using it. Not very much, anyway. Value. Well, now we should be on to a level called the Entrance Hall, which is the Second real last level, and the third. Yeah, and the third. Hold on, I'm getting confused now. I'm gonna have to remember. I think it's the entrance hall. There's two more levels after this, and one of them is not a real level. This looks like Xerox Castle. You've got to give Dan some credit, you know. Now, you can get your weapon nicked, so just be careful. You might recognise this area as being the area from the beginning of the game. Now, this area, this level even, is just simple. I think it's meant as like a brief reprise for the final few, but it's just a joke. You don't even have to try. Just run through, kill things willy nilly. Be as reckless as you want to be. And if that gets us up to a fourth, I'd be happy with that. You see what I mean? 55% on Chalice already. That's just daft. Hmm, not bad. Not bad at all. I 
I will stock up on weapons though. I will take some flaming arrows, magic arrows, spears, and that's it. You can see that's already the end of the level. We came down here first because it makes the level a little bit quicker if you go to the end, then come back to get the chalice. Because right next to the chalice are more enemies. So if we've got everything, and we go down here, Alley-oop! Be careful, because there's a stealer in here. There he is. There we go. Chalice acquired. I think this could actually be, arguably, the quickest level in the game. I can't think of one that goes quicker. Apart from Dan's Crypt, of course, but that's only a training anyway. And we are very, very nearly... Get down there. No, wrong way, you gloit. And we are... Out of here! As the genie would say from Aladdin. Ow. It'd be handy if this visit they gave me health. So if you give me health, Hall of Heroes, I will be happy with that. Ah, it's the uh, the Scouser guy again. I think it's Scouser. Hey, Dannyman! Dannyman! I, I told you it was magic, right? I've got so much here I can give you, but I've no idea what it is. Do you fancy your chances, like? Oh, go on then. What you got for me? Ooh, a life jar. Even better. Now, hold on a minute. Why do I get the feeling I'm missing a life jar? Life bottle. I should have nine. I can get one extra from the... Oh, hold on a minute. Have I missed one? That's rather concerning that. You should have nine by the end of, nine even by the end of the game. And I think Huh. Bear with me folks, and the next level we'll be taking on the penultimate. Well welcome back folks, welcome back to Let's Play Medieval, and I've actually found where I missed my other life bottle. Surprisingly if you've been watching this Let's Play from start to finish, you will have seen me actually pick it up. But because this is a second playthrough, long story short, when I lost my footage, or when it desynced, when it crashed at the Crystal Cave level, I'd actually saved over my original playthrough, so I had to restart from the cave level because the footage from there was desynced. But in that new playthrough, which I completed earlier tonight, I didn't pick up that life bottle. Does that make sense? It doesn't really make much sense to me. You've come a long way, Dan. I'm proud of you. You do not have much luck, dear. A bit concerned as well because my Logitech controller is flashing at me as if to say put some batteries inside me please. And I do have some but I'll try and get through this next level or two and then we'll see. Big level this. And the Russian mechanical soldiers make a comeback. Communism at its best. No, 
know what, let's use the lightning for a bit. I like using it, but... The only thing is, again, about the lightning, it's one of them weapons that you don't get enough use out of. Now, through this door, behind that red kind of shielding, can't really see it, but there is a life bottle. And that's the final one in the game. However, we can't get that yet. Off! Do you mind not knocking me off, please? That was unfair. Right. You can be electrocuted. God, you take a beating! I do like this weapon because it actually holds them in place as well. They don't attack while, you, while you're using it. Okay, can't get that guy yet. So that means only one way to go. Oh, you nearly got me trapped then. Nearly. Bouncy, bouncy. I like bouncy things. Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. Boom! Now, to get through this door here, one, we need the time room, which we don't have. But we also need... I've got to remember this. Aha, this is it. You go down here first, that's it. And yes, plenty of platforms. Which I won't be for... Oh my god, you're kidding me. Am I supposed to get across this? Oh god, okay. One, two, three, go. Ooh, ooh, nearly. Calm down, Dan. Calm down. Take it slow. Take it slow. Click. You can see the lightning is nearly out of power. Now when we go up here... Bouncy, 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 boom! And I failed the jump. Well played, Rich. Boom! Oh, come on! Down, you're letting us both down again here. Did it. Now I can go through this door. Now that door ahead of us is a time lock. And no, I'm not talking about Doctor Who. Mm, go. Now you see that time on there? We've got to put that in to the clock back there. So silver on one, gold on nine. Silver on one, gold on nine. Silver on one, gold on nine. That's right. Well, it should be. Nice. Oh, not this bit. Whew. Here we go, Dan. It's probably going to get your legs chopped off here, but you can handle it. You're a man. Just take it slow. Nice and slow. One, two, three, go. Go, then I get hit anyway. Jump into the pipe. That's right. So Daniel Fortescue, Mother Hubbard. Right, so. Semi-puzzle, not very difficult though. Hit that. Hit that. Hit that a few more times. And, wait for it. Boom! That's done two things. That's freed the chalice, as well as freeing the... Remember when I mentioned at the beginning, the final life bottle? Well, the final life bottle is now free too. Now, 
come on, just be careful. Now. Oh, fuzzity fuzz. Dan, you're making me look like a twit. Do you get that? <sighs> Sorry, folks, he fell off again. Okay, let's go down this way. Now, can I get through that door? Right, we've got the Earth Room. Now, where is the Earth Room lock? Could it be down there? Incidentally, anyone from the UK, does anybody remember Earth Force? Which was like, I don't know if you remember when you were like at primary school. This is for people who <coughs> were born in the... Well, they went to primary schools in the 90s. Earth Force, which was like a, one of them like educational shows that used to show in schools, like Through the Dragon's Eye. Earth Force. We can save the world. Save the creatures, save the sea. Save the something and save the sun. Earth Force. We can sh shave the world, I was going to say then. Save the creatures, save the sea. Okay, so we can get through this door now. Uh, will I use the other... Yes, I shall use the last of my lightning. Might as well get some use out of it. And that's the wrong way, you div cheese. Die. Open says me. Very close to the end now. As long as we can get enough kills. Right, so which door can we open? We can't open that one. That is the one. Right, we have a train here. Which if you push this bit, you can turn it. And we put it in the right direction. And let go. Do 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 if anyone remembers that, I'll give you credit, or if you recognise the theme tune. Bam ba dam bam 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 I'm used to it, and I've heard it a few times, because my daughter went through a phase of watching it. I mean, I used to watch it all the time as a kid. This magical cro uh, longbow is quite powerful. Now, come on, if I could get two more kills now, that would be great, and I wouldn't have to come back here. Just one more kill, and then I can go uh, go get the chalice. But I bet there's going to be no others spawning here. Ungrateful enemies. Bow 
Why doesn't that move? Have I not unlocked? Ah, I haven't unlocked the door. That's why. If you want to get a train moving, it might help to actually open the gates. You learn something every day, folks. You're dead. You're dead. But I'm just kicking ass with that magical longbow. One final gate and we are done. You know, for some people who like a sort of Lara Croft fans and that, this was kind of, to me, my Tomb Raider. Because for Tomb Raider, right, whenever I played it, I always just thought it was so stupid. Like the storyline of this, like, bloody... I don't know, some rich millionaire, 21-year-old adventurer called Lara. I never really got into it. I always thought the storyline was stupid. But saying that... I'm currently playing as a skeleton who is wielding a sword who is almost, well in fact, bigger than him. So really, my storyline taste doesn't make much sense. I hate Tomb Raider. I went to see the film as well. Oh my god. Remember I went to see it with as well. Went to see it with my mate James, Sunil and John. And it was shocking. The only thing that was cool was that robot fight at the start. Bad thing was, I was like egging on the robot to kill her, but she beat it in the end. I'm going to have that song in my head all night now. They don't make kids shows like they used to. I think one of my favourite theme tunes of all the like kids songs, or kids series I should say, was... Uh, you see if you get it. I might as well sing the lyrics actually. In another dimension, another time and space, a parallel universe has fallen on his face. When out of the shadows, who else could it be but the animal adventurers from SPACE? Bucky, Captain Bucky O'Hare. Mutants and aliens and toads beware. If you're looking for adventure, then this is it. With Dead Eye. Jenna, Jenny, Blinky, and Willie DeWitt. I said, Bucky, Captain Bucky O'Hare. And now more on Bucky O'Hare and the Toad Menace. In the Battle of the Yanavis, you don't know what's next. Because you're only known amphibians as something complex. When you check out the scanners to, for the evil that's in tow, there's only one cause of action. Let's croak us some toads. Bucky, Captain Bucky O'Hare. He goes where no ordinary rabbit would dare. If your righteous indignation has suffered a hit, and your photon accelerator is broken a bit. If you're losing your mind, and you... Dun 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 dun, we'll get the funky fresh rabbit who can take care of it. I said, Bucky! I'm gonna cough. <coughs> <coughs> That's not how the real theme tune goes, but it's close enough. Anyway, level complete. Kind of a long level, but considering it's the penultimate one, you can't really blame it for being a long level. You prove us all wrong. Maybe it is destined to be a hero. Maybe it can defeat Zarok. 
The people of Galamia may never know of your past mistakes, and you will indeed be remembered as the people's hero. Your time in exile is over. Welcome to your new home, Sir Daniel Fortescue. Nice, so we are a full hero. The kind of storyline of this game reminds me a lot of the Disney film Hercules. And that bit really does remind me of it. Which is incidentally a great film if you haven't seen it. Daniel, thank goodness you're still safe. I have a gift I can give to you, but sadly I can't say how useful you will find it. No, give me it anyway, please. Now that isn't going to be enough health. No, it's not. Not to give us full health. So, I need to go back and get some health from an old level. Um, now where would it be? I might do it off screen, because it's only going to involve me going back to an old level. So... So, in the next level, folks, we will, we will even be taking on Zarok's Lair. But until then, I'm going to go get some health, and then I'll come back. So I'll see you very shortly. And welcome back, folks. Now, like an idiot, I forgot to get the final life bottle. Even though I mentioned it at the start of that damn last level. Just bear with me. Sorry, I had a massive sneeze then. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. Um, so yes, I forgot about the last life bottle, which I've got now. I went back and did it off screen. So here we are, the ultimate level. We have chased Zarok throughout this le this game, throughout this land. We have beaten back his minions. We have saved the citizens. Time to defeat Zarok. Now, thankfully, we do get a supply gargoyle right at the start. We never thought you'd get this far. Your final encounter with Zarek awaits beyond this point. He has surrounded himself with his unnatural bodyguards, but you may yet even the odds by calling upon the lost souls collected within your chalice. Ah, okay. So we've got a clue. I do like how, like, the uh, gargoyles have, like, changed sides. They couldn't stand us at first, but now they quite like us. Right. Fully repaired shield. <clears throat> we'll stock up on everything we can. Only because we might as well. Right then, folks. The final battle. Now, before you go anywhere into the middle, pick up this. That shield, and... This box. This in particular. This is the good lightning. You'll see why that's important very soon. Come on, Zarok. Old nemesis, so we meet again. You're damn straight, we do. The century spent as worm food has done nothing to diminish your naive obsession with the freedom of Galomir. Skeletons? Am I supposed to be scared of these? To attack my warriors. I want the dogs gnawing marrow from those bones within the hour. Ah! What is that, Fortescue? Your lucky cup? It is actually, yes. Do you like it? Yeah, see, Zarok. I've got my own army, Mother Hubbard. 
Let's do this. Now the good lightning heals your soldiers at the cost of your own health. So just go around. They actually take damage and you can tell which ones are really hurt because they're like coloured red. If they're, if they're red they're going to die on like the next hit. So be careful. Like I nearly let that one die. And the problem is, unfortunately, right at the start, your forces are actually outmatched. His are stronger. Oh, foes, that one's going to die. Oh, nearly, so, nearly, nearly, nearly died. It does get substantially easier, though, after a while, because when your forces start winning, which they will do, give them enough time, Your forces will start to gang up on his. Just wait for it. Oh, that was bad timing by me. Nearly let one die. Again. Do you know what I mean, folks? Now they're all like attacking one, it makes it a lot easier. Oh, look at that! Ganked! We win! You lose! Well played! To skeleton warriors. Skeleton warriors. Such a show. The other thing that's annoyed me about this game all the way through is that the music. I've had to turn all the sound really, really low down just so the music doesn't drown me out. And it annoys me a bit that you have to str you don't have to struggle as such, but the voices of the enemies are a little difficult to hear at times. Let us see how you fare against my champion, the late Lord Cardock. He eats people like you as calcium supplement. I assure you I'm not that tasty. Uh I don't know worry you mate, but your horse is on fire? And also doesn't have any skin. I'm not scared of you, big lad. First pick up all your health, and trust me, this guy is a walk in the park. Come on, fatty. See, he's got next to no health, this idiot. Come here. Stop running. And you're gone. How rubbish are you? Got anything else, Zarok? Not damn, not curse you, bugger. Ah, yes. No, not that spell. This is what I mean, folks. This game just takes the mick out of it, so. What is he doing? What the fuzz is that? Looks like one of them Chinese dragons. Like a really ugly one. None shall defeat the mighty Zarok. <laughs> Uh, 
So prepare to die, Fortescue. Got a chicken cart in your throat. Again, this guy isn't too difficult. You can't hurt him when he's like blue shields up. So just wait for him to bring it down. Stay close to him and actually sort of tempt him to attack you, and eventually he'll do one of his like proper shots. Come on, come on, do it. Come on, take your shield down, please. Come on, take another shot at me, please. Come on. Come on. I ain't got all day, you know. You cheeky sausage. Come on, just turn into your un ugh. There we go. Oh, you broke my shield, you little gloit. So that was my own fault. I was being a bit cocky with him. Come on. Look, you can breathe that snot on me all day. It ain't gonna save you. Not bad. Third of his health gone. Come on, fat boy. Stop trying to get your snot on me. Come on, turn back into your vulnerable self, please. Be wary as well, folks. Any hit on your shield takes off 100 HP of it. I've lost one already. However, I've got this shield, and I've also got that one at the entrance. Which I decided not to pick up. And that's precisely for this reason. So basically, I've got one more shield to go through, should I need it. Come on. Become vulnerable, please. There you go. Now you can see why in this fight the life bottles are almost... Well, you need them, if you ask me. Oh, shield's nearly gone. Oh, he's in his, like, Super Saiyan mode. Run! I think he only does this once. That's when he sort of gets really mad at you. Come on, 242 H... Ah, oh, stop doing it, please. What do you mind? You think you're all that, you, don't you, Zarok? Trust me, you ain't. I've faced... Grasshoppers more powerful than you. Don't know where Grasshopper came from. Oh, there goes the shield. Oh well, I'll pick up the other one in a minute. I want to go for the finisher though first. That was useless there, Richard. I was waving this thing like a feather duster. If you know that quote, then I love you. Unless you're a man, then I don't love you. Unless you're Eric Clapton or David Tennant, then I might love you if you're a man. Or Kyle Katarn, of course. Look, setting me on fire is neither clever nor funny. I just have an aversion to being set on fire. Oh, 8 HP, come on you. Goodbye. You will never leave this domain. <laughs> oh, I think I will. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, I love this game. Come on, Dan. Get out of there. Run, Danny, run, Danny, run, run, run. Otherwise you're gonna die quite painfully. Die, 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 die goes Daniel's head. Come on down, run! You've come too far to die at this bit. God, what is up with that bird's head? But have we done it? Ah, good. I'm really happy that the sleeping village is actually saved. Because it really got to me, that scene where that little kid got, like... I know she wasn't zombified, that kid, but she was still, like, hypnotised. Now, usually, folks, this is where the game ends, if... you haven't got all the chalices. However, we have, thus, welcome to the true ending. <laughs> There's those two knights who are arguing, dancing this time. Well done, Dan. You've... Whoa. Skeleton got skills, man. Well played. Well, folks, that's all from Medieval, and it's all from me. I hope you've enjoyed this Let's Play. I certainly have. And well, I'll see you in the next one. Until then. Until then.